everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate for you how to place electrodes for a 5 lead telemetry monitor. Now, in the hospital, a physician may order a patient to be a telemetry status where they will wear a telemetry box during the whole hospitalization and their heart rate and rhythm will be monitored by a telemetry unit. The boxes vary in size. They can be relatively big or small depending on the type of supplies that your hospital bought. And there's five connections that will go on the chest and they have different colors and a lot, those colors really throw people off. So here in a second, I'm gonna give you a great way on how to memorize those colors and I'm gonna show you exactly where those little stickers go on the chest. Now, before you place a monitor on a patient for a telemetry monitor, you'll first wanna prep the skin properly because if you don't prep the skin properly, you may get a really bad connection. So this is the supplies you will need in order to prep the chest. You will need some alcohol prep, which will just remove any oils or dirt from the skin. You'll need some exfoliation paper. I call it sandpaper. It just roughs up the top layer of the skin so you get a good connection with your electrode. And then you'll need a packet of electrodes. Always make sure your electrodes have not expired and that the gel, which is behind this little sticky part, on the electrode is nice and moist. You don't want any dry electrodes because if you do, you'll get a lot of artifact and it, they won't stick to the skin. So let me show you how to place these electrodes. Okay, you'll want to expose the chest and you'll get your telemetry box, you'll put the battery in the box and you'll get your sights ready to put your little electrode stickers. Now on the back of each electrode is a little backing that you'll have to peel off like that. And first, I like to start over here on the right side. What you have first on your right side is your right arm lead and your right lower leg lead. And this will be white and green. How I like to remember that is snow, which is white, over grass. So your right arm lead will go in the second intercostal space of the ribs, so about right in this area. And how you want to prep the skin is you want to take your alcohol prep and you just want to clean the skin really good to get those oils off. And then lightly take your exfoliation paper and just scratch on that area lightly just to rough it up. And then peel the backing off of your electrode and place it on the skin. And make sure you put it down really well. And next you'll do your left arm lead. And this is the green, like we said, and it is down here right below the lower edge of the rib cage, which is right here on this mannequin. And it's on the non-muscular area, so you don't wanna put it over the abdominal muscles. So you'll do the same type of prep, you'll clean with alcohol and you'll lightly scratch, and then you'll put your electrode on. So we have right arm, right leg, and we have snow over grass. And then let's do our left arm leads. We have left arm and lower leg. So what we'll do is we'll prep for that. And remember, watch out for any pacemakers, implanted devices. You can sometimes have sub-Q ports or even pacemakers over here and you never wanna put your electrode over that. So you'll wanna go away from that. So you'll clean the skin right here. It's a second intercostal space on the left side of the body. It's literally right across from your right arm lead and you'll just take your backing off, put it on, second intercostal space, and this is the black lead, okay? And this is going to be our left lower leg, and this is going to be the red lead, so you have smoke over fire. So clean that area, and this is literally right across from your right leg lead, and it's on the lower part of where the rib cage is, on the non-muscular area, and we have one more left, and this will be V1. V1 is the brown lead. And everyone just tries to remember this as chocolate in the middle. So the brown lead will be at the fourth intercostal space, which will be right in this area. Clean your area, prep it, and then put your electrode on. and you are done and then you'll connect your wires so let's go over it again you have snow over grass 
smoke over fire, and then chocolate in the middle. So you'll connect your electrodes to this. You'll immediately then call the telemetry unit for your hospital. Make sure they are picking up the patient, that they're getting a nice clear EKG, the batteries are working that you put in, and that they have the right patient information because you never want, because if you had a patient in that room and you didn't clear out that information, they might have another patient in there. So always make sure that. And that is how you set up for a five lead telemetry monitor. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out my other videos on how to place electrodes for a 12 lead EKG and their placements. And be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and thank you so much.